even in a zombie apocalypse, ensure that you have a teacher present before entering the lab. Remember to leave all food, drinks and bags outside the lab. Before entering the lab, ensure that you have put on the necessary protective clothing and that includes your lab coat and your goggles. This helps to protect you from chemical spills and splashes. Long hair should also be tied up neatly. Whoa, 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 hey, put it down. Put it down. Close it. Why don't you let this guy do it? Mm, this guy. Yeah, I'm this guy. I should do it. Read and hold the label. First, wear your gloves, man. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Read the label. To avoid spillage, connect the neck onto the top of the beaker. So move it back a bit. That's right. Okay, I put too much. No, 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 no. Do not ever pour it back. Why? Because I say so. And it causes contamination if you pour it back. Fine, 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 fine. Never smell chemicals directly, as they may emit fumes that damage your lungs. Instead, cup your hands above the container and slowly waft the air towards your face. When pouring liquid chemicals, it is important to ensure that you do it with a quick steady stream and not like the one in the video. If you have spilled any chemical on the table, immediately use a paper towel or a damp cloth to clean it up. If your skin comes into contact with a chemical, immediately rinse it with water for 15 minutes. Hello everybody! Today I'm going to show you how to clean your waste products and your chemical waste products I mean. So first, please remember do not throw any waste products into the sink unless advised by your teacher. All waste products should be in your waste bottle. So first, open the waste bottle and pour in the chemical waste slowly. What's all this? That's not how you do it. Okay, wait, first we have to fix this. To do that, we have to clean it. And do you know how to do it? No. Well, first you need tissue paper, and you put some water on it, and you start wiping it. Okay, why don't you have to go? Okay, very good. And. Now let's do that again. Do exactly what you did, except do not pour anything out. Hold the ladle above the beaker and pour everything inside slowly. Why? So it won't spill out and make a mess like this. Okay, slowly. Yeah, okay, good job, Janice. Oh, close the lid. Is it possible to measure your body temperature using a the thermometer? Let's try it. One. Oh, I'm 27 degrees. It's not accurate. Try it off. Um, okay. Nope, it's never a good idea to place a laboratory thermometer in your mouth because you might just end up with a really bad stomach. Or dead. The thermometer bulb should not touch the beaker or the heating source. 
Instead, it should always be placed in the center of the solution. Do not use a thermometer to stir liquids. Use a glass rod instead. Thermometers might roll off flat surfaces, so keep them in the trays provided. Oh my god, it's boiling! Do you hear that? It's boiling, it's boiling! Thank <laughs> you. 